thousands of Jackson County residents are furious over their property tax assessments. The average increase we're told is 30%, but some people have seen increases upwards of 200%. We sat down with the Jackson County assessor to get answers and as surprising as it sounds, she told KNBC investigates appealing your assessment is really just part of the process. We've got almost 250 appointments scheduled for today, so walk-ins are going to be a long wait. That's what Dorothy Thurman is doing, waiting. When she opened her assessment, like thousands of other Jackson County residents, the increase for her home was astronomical. 96 percent. So when you opened it up, what was your reaction? I was shocked. KNBC 9 Investigates is getting answers on how Jackson County calculates the value of properties, just like yours. So a market area may have a thousand homes in it. County Assessor Gail McCam Beatty explains the process. So what we do is called mass appraisal. The principles are the same. We still use market data, so we look at all of the, the sales. We break the county down into market areas and then we compare them to the sales within those market areas. McCann Beatty says all of that data gets plugged into a computer program, which then calculates the property assessment. And that's where things can get contentious. Because it's not an exact science, uh, sometimes just simply a single street can make the difference in, in what the value is. And so the appeals process is part of the whole reassessment process, and I think that's what people don't understand either. The burden of proof on what your property is worth falls on you. It's up to the owner to prove their home isn't worth the amount of the assessment. One way to do that is by documenting the condition of your home, especially on the inside. And all you need to do is bring in a few pictures, show us that you haven't updated your kitchen or updated the bathrooms, and then we can make an adjustment. McCann Beatty says you must come down to this specific location, 1300 Washington Street, and prepare to wait. Filing the appeal itself takes about five minutes. Um, it's not particularly complicated. We do have people here that can help you file the appeal. Yes. The longer Dorothy waits, it's been more than four hours already, her concerns grow into fear about a future that sits in the balance of this appeal. And I'm a senior citizen. And even if I, if, I, if I lost my house, where would I go? And it's a possibility I'm not able to pay his taxes this year. I certainly wouldn't be able to pay him next year. I'd have two years. McCann Beatty says she feels there is plenty of time for people to file their appeal by the July 10th deadline. So there is no talk right now of extending it.